hey guys welcome to edutap and here is another topic under the esi that is economics and social issues so in this particular lecture series we are covering important topics under esi which are relevant for rbi grade b nabad grade a and sebi grade a so a topic for the day is types of unemployment now this particular topic is very much important under esi as it has a sub topic called as employment generation so before proceeding let me just quickly tell you about the various courses which we are offering we have sebi grade a rbi grade b and nabad grade a as well as combo courses also we are offering ibps afo the specialist officer exams uh, test series as well as the video course so and about this particular lecture uh, esi is important in sebi grade a rbi grade b and nabad as well so starting with today's topic our topic for the day is as i've already told you it's employment generation under types of unemployment so see we are going to solve mcqs so first of all you have to try and solve the questions and do not forget to mark your score and mention in the comment section below so that you can see that what are you are you improving or not and uh, let us just start so first question is unemployment occurs when there were, whenever there is a gap between the skills that are required and the skills that are offered by workers this type of unemployment is called as so see the question is asking the feature of a kind of unemployment is given to you and you have to find out the type of unemployment so it's your turn to solve the question is it open unemployment naked unemployment cyclical structural or disguised so it's your turn to solve it what do you think it is so the answer here is structural unemployment see structural unemployment basically means that unemployment has occurred due to the structural changes in the economy now what are these structural changes let me give you a very basic example it is said that from agriculture our economy has uh, primarily it was dependent on agriculture then it has shifted to it actually has to shift to manufacturing and then service sector so when this transformation takes place that is known as the structural changes now these structural changes can also be like technical technological advancements so when such changes takes place structural unemployment occurs like see unemployment arising from the mismatch between the skills that are being offered by the workers and the skills that are currently required in an economy gives rise to structural unemployment because these are due to the structural changes okay let me just tell you one another thing if there are some demands like automation is coming up in a manufacturing sector and the workers presently are not aware about the uh, usage of the technique how to use that and if robots are coming for particularly that sector then people don't know how to operate them how to make use of them then obviously it will cause unemployment because the ones who are already who have that skill would be preferred for the employment so this would lead to the losing of the job who were already there so that is just an example of the structural unemployment and it is particularly important for the developing countries like us that is india and uh, it occurs in rural as well as urban areas so you don't you have to keep this in mind that not only urban areas rural areas are also affected by the structural unemployment okay here what can be the example you have to mention below in the comment section okay question number 2 which of the following best explains the frictional unemployment so here it is a typical exam question kind of unemployment given you have to find out the feature it occurs due to cyclical fluctuations in the economy it occurs when workers in the economy are contributing less than their potential it occurs when a worker is shifting from one job to another or only Uh, during seasonal months of the year or do you think that it is none of the above there is some other kind of frictional unemployment just try and solve it so our answer here is it's three that is it occurs when a worker is shifting from one job to another and that is the reason friction unemployment is also known as transitional unemployment that is when a person is in the transition phase of his job 
so it is best explained as the time period between the transitioning of one job to other now see if a person already has a job and he wants to switch over to some other job profile he wants to switch over to the place where he works from the place where he works or some other reasons could be there that he wants to switch the career itself that he wants to pursue some other thing so th at that particular time when a person decides to remain unemployed so that he can find a better job that is known as frictional unemployment so that time period in which a person is actually looking for a job and decides not to work is a kind of voluntary unemployment and uh, it is also nowadays known as the search engine unemployment so you have to keep in mind search engine voluntary and frictional unemployment question 3 various estimates of unemployment have been developed by nsso the uh, the estimate which measures the number of persons who remained unemployed for a major part of the year is called as dash so see this is a very important question because there are these estimates about unemployment which are released by nsso that is national sample survey organization which functions under mosp that is ministry of statistics and program implementation so these are typical and uh, just try it is it usual status unemployment when it is for a major part of the year or is it annual labor force daily status or none so our answer here is okay even if you don't know just try and solve it what do you think could it be our answer to this question is usual status unemployment so see the usual status labor force and daily status these are the three particular status unemployment measures which are released by nsso so three measures by nsso and there are also surveys by the labor bureau which is particularly under the ministry of labor so uh, nsso under the mosp this also you have to keep in mind okay so there are three estimates that is usual status weekly status and current daily status now see these definitions can change when the estimate is new or nsso comes up with some new definition but for now as in you have to learn about them that is usual status unemployment because it measures the estimates the number of persons who remained unemployed for a major part of the year this measure gives the lowest estimates now why is this lowest estimate see major part of the year means that even if a person was working for only one hour during a day he would be considered as employed in this particular status unemployment measure so that is why it is considered as the lowest estimate and then weekly status is there here a person who has worked for how many number of days in a particular given week is uh, uh, the preceding week that is the week which has already passed is known as uh, the weekly status and activity of a person for each day of the preceding 7 days so now this is considered as the highest estimate of unemployment because in each day how many per, how many hours a person has done protective productive work for the economy is the current daily status so these are three very important and you have to know about them as well as the nsso question 4 when a more number of people are employed in a job than actually required the situation is called as so this is an important question again is it under employment cyclical unemployment over unemployment disguised unemployment or do you think that it is not considered as unemployment only so it is asking basically that if more number of people are doing a job then less can do what kind of unemployment would it be so our answer to this question is disguised unemployment now see let me just tell you that under employment is actually it's under unemployment basically means that a person who has more skills he can he is capable of doing more work better work but he is not able to utilize his skills and efficiency that time he is said to be underemployed although he has employment he has a job but he is not able to utilize his own potential so this is underemployment and cyclical unemployment is which takes place due to the 
cycle of the economy that is as you know that recession then boom so when that cycle takes place there are changes in the employment pattern and that is cyclical unemployment and see over unemployment is particularly no such word because we have over employment rather that means a person is working more than his capability so that is over employment and disguised is when a person more number of people are employed in a job than actually required so it is usually seen in rural areas and that also in case of india it is seen in the agri sector now see a disguised unemployed uh, employed person is the one who seems to be employed but actually is not why so because he is not contributing to the output that means whatever he is contributing is either negligible or zero so it is most commonly observed in rural areas and agriculture sector let me just give you an example see uh, the, uh let us assume that there is a family which has 10 persons like 10 family members are there and they have this two acres of land now if all the 10 pe- persons are uh, of the age that they can work so they are coming to the field and they are working whether it is cultivation sowing anything they are coming to the field and working so as to help each other so uh, if only six person were working at that particular time and four did not come that also at that time also the output would be same that means that disguised unemployment is taking place because they are working just for the sake of helping each other and actually the output is the same now that is why this type of unemployment is ro- uh, referred as the hidden unemployment because again the same thing that people seem to be employed but actually what are they contributing is nil so uh, another important thing i just want to mention here is that although it is common in rural areas and agriculture sector but this does not mean that it is not taking place in other sectors so it can be even in the urban areas and other sectors as well if you get anything any example in mind just mention in the comment section because see if you mention such things then the session would be becoming more interactive we'd get to know that actually you are understanding such things and this particular lecture is helpful to you guys so last question this type of unemployment when people are willing to work but there is no work available for them is called as now this is pretty easy a typical question easy one type of unemployment when people are looking for job but are not getting is casual unemployment open closed cyclical or none and our answer here is it's two that is open unemployment most common kind of unemployment open or also called as the naked unemployment when people are work looking for a job actually a large section of people in the labor force they want to work they are looking for a job they are looking for regular income but they are not getting it now are you able to relate this particular open unemployment to indian economy we guys have a uh, L- uh, seen about a word in news there was this thing called as jobless growth in india now what is that jobless growth which is being spoken about here see it means that growth is taking place in the economy the growth rate is fine but there are no jobs otherwise it is considered that when economy grows jobs are created for the people but when it is not so then it is known as the naked unemployment when labor force is increasing economy is growing but still there are no jobs so this can be related to our own economy and that is why it becomes important here so we are done with five questions just tally your score have a look over the answers okay so that's it so we are done with five mcqs a day from another important esi section i would recommend you guys to in case of any query you can just go to our website www.edutab.co.in i would recommend you to go there then hello at edutab.co.in is our email id you can just drop us a mail here and our contact number is 8146207241 you can whatsapp us or call us as per your convenience So that's it guys if you like the video and you find the content useful which i really hope you would please do not forget to like and subscribe and do share the video also and this is the link of our telegram channel do not copy it from here it is already in the description below you can just go there and download the pdf of this lecture as well as all other lectures also 
So that's it for today guys. I wish you all a very happy learning and thank you for being here.